My name is Marilyn Schneider, and I've been teaching Hatha Yoga for about 18 years. And people come to classes because they want to feel better. And they look at me because I'm 74, and they and they say, "Wow, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe this stuff works," you know. And I've been doing yoga for about 30 years, and I love it. Uh, this is my bliss. There's a lot of folks that come to me with different ailments, knee problems, hip problems, but all in all, um, they feel better. They leave here feeling better. Older people like to have fun. They don't want to just go do exercise, that, especially when they've never done it before. So I decided to add what I did in the nursing homes, which was playing ball. And uh, that keeps them active, they're happy about it, they laugh. And I pep up the music a bit. And in playing ball, it's the right hand, and it's under, and it's over, and it's the left hand. So if they're predominantly right-handed, uh, they'll use their left hand. So I've learned from my own experience of accidents that I'm very right-handed. However, my left hand now is nearly as strong because I can lift a bucket, where years ago I couldn't do that. And the scars, uh, I had a, um, a rehab person say to me, gee, that's a good movement because they're, they're, they're using a lot that they wouldn't normally do, especially raising the arms over their heads. And they go behind the chair and under their legs. And Well, this particular class, my chair class, um, there were a lot of people who said, well, they couldn't get on the floor. That was the first thing. Uh, in my class, I teach them how to get to the floor. Uh, in a way that they're not going to get hurt and that they can get back up. Because if you're in an accident somewhere, this is really important to be able to get up uh, by yourself because you're not always walking with someone or you're not always, you may be in a shopping plaza or whatever. It's about doing the best you can with what you have and not giving up. You know, keep a going, keep a moving. Uh, I do dancing, I do ballroom dancing, and uh, I wouldn't be able to do this without yoga. There's no way. Because my flexibility, uh, I can get down with the grandchildren and the great-grandkids right on the floor and play marbles with them or draw or whatever. And it's because of my flexibility. It's one of these things I'm trying to motivate people to take care of themselves, uh, that they are responsible for their bodies. And if they take care of themselves, they won't have to have as much drugs, they won't have to uh, be in a walker or a wheelchair or do the nursing home and to keep them active in the mainstream of life. And you know, it isn't about how long we live, it's about the quality of our life while we're here. Um. Let me see.